Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the day Elvis Presley passed away and the concert tour that never happened. On the morning of August 16th, 1977, Elvis was preparing to go on tour that evening to Portland, Maine. He was going to perform there on August 17th, 1977. Unfortunately, that wouldn't happen, and I will explain now why. On the morning of August 16th, 1977, like I said, he was preparing to go on tour, and he was always keyed up before starting a tour. He was all nervous. And Elvis actually had stage fright before he would go on stage before he performed. You wouldn't think Elvis Presley, the biggest star in the world, would have stage fright, but he does like a lot of people do. And around 4 or 5 that morning, Elvis goes down to the racquetball building on property, plays a game of racquetball with his cousin Billy Smith and his girlfriend at the time, Ginger Alden. Or I should say fiancé because they were getting married in December of that year. And after they play racquetball, Elvis sits down at the piano and plays two songs, Unchained Melody and at Billy Smith's wife request, at his wife's request, Blue Eyes Crying in the Rain. Those were the last two songs Elvis would ever sing before passing away. After that, Elvis heads back to the mansion and he's just talking to Ginger about their wedding plans because they were planning on getting married in December of that year, I believe it was on Christmas Day of 1977. And he turns on the TV in his room to relax and just kind of, like I said, just relax before the tour. And Elvis had an insomnia problem pretty much all of his life. And so he would, obviously insomnia means you have trouble sleeping. And so Elvis takes a book and goes towards the bathroom door and Ginger says to Elvis, don't fall asleep. Elvis says, oh, I won't. Those were the last two words Elvis would say to anybody before he passed away. Elvis goes in the bathroom and Ginger Alden falls, falls asleep and Around 2 o'clock that afternoon, Ginger rolls over, wakes up, and looks at the clock, and it said 2 o'clock. She realizes Elvis is not in bed next to her. She goes into the bathroom and sadly would find Elvis Presley passed away on the bathroom floor of the Graceland Mansion. At first, they didn't think Elvis was gone. They thought Elvis had just fallen asleep. He had taken too much medication and hadn't worn off yet, but he wasn't asleep he was he was dead and they call an ambulance ambulance gets there to Graceland and as they're loading Elvis into the ambulance Dr. Nick Elvis's doctor pulls up jumps out of his car jumps into the back of the ambulance and they race to Baptist Hospital and they try to revive Elvis they try to just do anything to see if they could get a heartbeat from Elvis. Nothing works. At 3 o'clock that afternoon, Elvis is pronounced dead at the age of 42. He had died from heart failure. That was the cause of death for Elvis Presley. And the news would break at 3.30 that afternoon that Elvis Aaron Presley, the king of rock and roll, was dead at the age of just 42 years old. The next day, the next two days, would be the funeral of Elvis Presley. This is a picture of the hearse leaving Graceland for Forest Hill Cemetery where Elvis was originally laid to rest be before being moved back to Graceland along with his mother in October of 1977. And as they're driving down Elvis Presley Boulevard, a photographer catches this picture of the hearse driving down the street 
and the tour that was supposed to happen, he was supposed to perform two shows in Portland, Maine, one on the 17th, one on the 18th. Then I believe he was supposed to go to New York and then I believe Virginia. And then and on August 26th, he goes to, he was supposed to go to University of Kentucky, Rupp Arena in Lexington, Kentucky. And sadly, he did not do that tour. And after he passed away, nobody in Memphis could really get their mind around the fact that Elvis Presley was dead. It was even hard for Ginger Alden, the girl that Elvis was dating at the time, to believe that Elvis was gone. And Elvis' daughter, Lisa Marie, she was only nine years old. That was hard on her. And sadly, now Lisa Marie's gone. She joined her father up in heaven, along with her son, Ben, who died in 2020. And I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And just remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and always be positive. Have a great day.